Okay, uh, we are going to learn about how to uh, make a buffer solution. And we are going to uh, use a problem uh, to describe that. So here is the problem. You have been given 50 milliliter of 0.4 molar disodium hydrogen phosphate solution. So let me write it down. you will make a buffer of pH is equal to 2 from 0 0.4 molar disodium hydrogen phosphate solution. The question is what volume of 1.0931 molar HCl acid you need to add. Okay, so this is the question and as it mentions that you have this disodium hydrogen phosphate. Uh, so what will be the acid? So the, the, here's the question that should uh, come up. What is the acid base uh, What is the weak acid conjugate base, conjugate base it is going to be? Because in any buffer you are going to have a either a weak acid and its conjugate base or a weak base and its conjugate acid. Well, uh, to make an effective buffer uh, from Na2HPO4, which is really uh, one form of the phosphoric acid, uh, we need to look at the uh, different form of the phosphoric acid uh, and you know which form we are going to use it. So let me uh, look here. Uh, phosphoric acid as we know is a tri-basic acid. Right? So let me write over here H3PO4 in aqueous solution is going to dissociate it. So I'm give you H2PO4 minus and the H plus and the uh, Ka value of this acid let me make a little uh, kind of a chart so that way we can differentiate from these different lines the K of this phosphoric acid is 7.5 times 10 to the minus 3 so let me write that 7.5 times 10 to the power minus 3 and the uh, pKa value of this is becomes 2.12 right. this is going is also an acid so that is going to dissociate it just as well PO4 minus giving you HPO4 now it is going to be 
2 minus because it is going to lose one more proton. Now the K value for this acid which is we call it Ka2 is 6.2 times 10 to the power minus 8 much weaker than the other one and the pk value for it, it becomes 7.21 and this uh, form of phosphoric acid is going to be another acid so that one is also going to dissociate so HPO4 2 minus going to dissociate to give you now a PO4 3 minus and the H plus the uh, Ka value for this equilibrium is 4.2 times 10 to the power minus 13 it is even weaker than the previous one giving you a pk value of 12.38 12.38 okay so this is the three form of uh, equilibria that can exist now as you can see in order for um, this buffer to have a ph of 2 um, the uh, equilibria that we need to prepare is this one where the pk value is uh, 2.12 which is the closest to the desired value so what we need to make uh, so this is what uh, we will need to make so we need h3po4 and H2PO4 minus as acid conjugate base system. Okay, so now we have to make uh, these two component from uh, Na2HPO4. Now you see Na2HPO4 in aqueous solution really doesn't exist as the Na2HPO4 but it is going to completely dissociate to give you uh, two sodium ions in aqueous and you have this uh, HPO4 2 minus is the aqueous now we need this too but we have this HPO4 2 minus so definitely uh, we don't need to have this in the system we need to convert HPO4 2 minus into H2PO4 minus the one that I mentioned over here and actually we need to convert all of it into this so how much of HPO4 2 minus do we have well we have 50 milliliter of point formula solution we have 50 milliliter 0 0.4 molar uh, solution of disodium hydrogen phosphate as well as HPO4 2 minus because you know this is going to all dissociate giving you equimolar uh, amount of HPO4 2 minus so uh, if that be the case uh, how many moles is that how many moles is this well you can you know 